Economic indicators are not trending in a good direction for the country, and the Fed is scheduled to meet again this week in what could be another roller coaster, but without the up part of the ride. Here to break down the numbers and how this impacts all of us, South Carolina Senator Tim Scott. Let me, first of all, Senator, say happy birthday to you uh, and my mom. Y'all share a Thank birthday you, tomorrow. I went to the Dollar General yes, to try to get you both a really nice gift this afternoon. <laughs> uh, inflation has made everything way more than a dollar. So I left. Uh, whatever happened to inflation kind of cooling down a little bit. You know, Trey, uh, number one, since Biden has taken office, inflation has been up 17 straight months in a row. That is really bad news for people living paycheck to paycheck. The truth is that Biden's inflation equals a pay cut for Americans all across the country. And because of that, they're making fewer trips to the Dollar General. Trey, three out of four Americans say in the last six months because of inflation, they have experienced a financial hardship. Times are hard because Biden continues to spend money we don't have. All right, so if I'm a viewer at home or somebody that's been following the news, they know that Congress passed this thing called the Inflation Reduction Act. Do you think <laughs> that it was really the 401k reduction act? Because those really are going down. They're right about that. Retirement savings is going down. That's How do you right. get away with misnaming something like that? How do you get away with that? You know, Trey, they have a habit on the left of misnaming everything. The COVID relief package, $1.9 trillion. The only thing missing in COVID relief was COVID relief, 1% for vaccines. The Inflation Acceleration Act is what it should have been named because with $740 billion of spending, creating 87,000 new positions for the IRS to hunt through your accounts to see if you're a tax cheat or not, especially those under $200,000, it is the most ridiculous name of a bill since the COVID Relief Act. So the truth of the matter is that the Democrats hope you believe what they say and not what you see at the gas pump or your electric bill or your food bill, but trust them. They will bring your inflation down by doing the exact same thing that cost it, overspending. It is ridiculous. Dollar General needs help. All right, you're someone we look to for straight talk, but also for a little bit of hope. Uh, so is yes. there, I mean, what can we do to get inflation down? Is there anything that Congress can do? Do we just have to fight through this cycle? What can be done to get it down? Well, the, the Fed is trying to bring inflation down by raising uh, the interest rates. While you raise the interest rates, you push the economy closer to a recession. That does slow spending. Unfortunately, the most powerful tool we have is winning elections. The truth is, if we can win back the majority in the House, win back the majority in the Senate, we can turn the spigot off. And when we turn that spigot off, inflation will go down because its cause of inflation is, in fact, overspending because this administration loves spending money we don't have, buying things we don't need, impressing people who are simply unimpressed. So the fastest way for us to turn the spigot off is to win elections. We must win elections. It's one of the reasons why I've been traveling our home state in South Carolina trying to make sure that the voters know that I'm serious about being their senator. And so I've been in Florence, Myrtle Beach, Columbia, uh, Anderson, now I'm going to Greenville, Spartanburg, and across the state. I want to make sure that I tell my voters I am serious about being their senator. But at the same time, I'm traveling the country trying to make sure that we win these midterms. I'm in Iowa, Nebraska, Wisconsin, Ohio coming up soon, uh, Tennessee this Friday coming. I want to go all over this country while traveling my state because we have to win elections, starting with the House and then gaining momentum and winning back the Senate as well. I'm exhausted just hearing your travel schedule because I know when you're in South Carolina, you you work all the time. So I, I'm I'm exhausted. All right. We got about 30 seconds. Other than inflation, what are kind yes, of sir. the top three issues you're hearing voters talk about as you travel our state and the country? The overall economy would be number one. Inflation is number two. Number three is gas prices and number four 
crime. Crime is devastating our most, most marginalized communities and it can be stopped. We have to stop pretending you can defund the police. We need to refund the police. Amen. Tim Scott, the birthday boy. Uh, happy birthday. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Sergey. Have a good one.